Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are going to see Django Crispy Forms with Bootstrap 5. Okay, now I'll go to the browser and I'll just grab this code. Okay. I'll say git clone and paste that URL. Now again, I'll just copy all these files. I mean, select all these files and drag and drop outside of the folder. Now I'll just delete this one. Now, now press control and select this folder, crispy underscore bootstrap underscore three. And also select this manager file and hit on delete. Okay. Now here we can say Django hyphen admin start project and we can say crispy underscore bootstrap underscore five and give space and write dot and hit enter. Now the project has been created. So let's go to the settings.pr file. Now again we will follow the same step which we have followed in previous video. Here I'll install the app which is main. Then I'll go down and here I'll write uh, templates and uh, I'll go to URLs. Here I'll import one package known as include and here I'll say path and here I'll say includes and here I can write main dot urls all right so once this is done we can now initiate command which will be python minor dot py migrate Okay, so M A I N, I misspelled the spelling, I guess. So it's main. Alright, migrate. Uh, what's wrong with this? Okay, I misspelled the spelling over here. Main. Now it would work fine. Yeah, it worked, and I will say Python minor.py and server. Server is up and running. I'll just go ahead and check the URL. It's working fine. Let me go to the login. Oops. Login user. Okay, we have not installed the crazy form. That's why it is showing the text, something like this. But we will go to Django. Crispy form. Click on the link, click on installation, and we will, we will click on nothing. Let me just say Django Facebook form bootstrap file. It's on GitHub. I'll just leave this link in the comment below, okay? So don't worry about that. All right. Now just copy this command from over here. Okay, stop the server and like clear command. And I'll just hit enter. Package has been installed. So if I come over here and refresh, it should work. Let me run the server first. Yeah. Okay, it is not working. Let us see what are the new configurations. So I'll just copy this one. Go to VS Code. Okay, we have not installed the app. That's why it's not working, I guess. Now it should work. Over here. Now it says settings. That has no attribute crispy underscore template underscore pack. Okay, I need to install it. I mean, I need to copy and paste this both lines here. I'll just write 
कमेंट करके कुछ सेट टाइप टूरिस्टिंग फॉर्म एक सेट वन कम ओवर हियर रिफ्रेश नाउ इट इज वर्किंग ओके आई डोंट नो व्हाई बट ड्यू टू सम रीजंस this message is shown above over here but i don't know why but if i go to register oops let me see close that one now yeah. so let's say test user 1 test user 1 Admin at the rate plus one to one. Admin. Okay, you can see we got that error message. And let me check in the Discord HTML. Yeah, we have Bootstrap five over here. Okay, so I guess okay, I realized my mistake. So let me click over here. Here, okay, I by mistake I just selected Bootstrap. Five, but if you are watching this video, I mean, obviously you will not go for Bootstrap three. But please, if you are watching this video, fork this uh, code, change this link, and please make a pull request. I will just merge it. Okay, thank you for that. All right. So our Bootstrap five is also now working fine. All right. So what we can do there? Now over here, I just create an account. I mean, other request one to one. I mean, other request one to one. Okay, click on submit. Okay, so we are logged in. It means our account has been created. I just log out. We logged out. All right, so this is also working perfectly fine. All right, so what we are going to do in the next video? Let me show you. I'll simply write Django Cresty form. Now here, I'll just basically install this Cresty forms package. Okay, and uh, we will follow this documentation and. Uh, Okay, we are left with Tailwind CSS. Yeah, we need to cover that. So, so in next video we will cover Tailwind CSS and then we will move on there. So yeah, this is it for today's video, guys. If you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in next one. Thank you.